And what's been great about the, the Facebook group is you see what other women look like in clothes. Everyone's posting pictures of their outfits. Everyone, people are thin and, and, and curvy and tall and short and short hair and long hair. And like, you see what real women look like in these clothes. And there's just this sense of like, instead of like, I don't look like that model, which I never thought I had an, I never thought I had an issue with that. Right. But but the, but the Facebook group has just been so liberating because it's like, oh, look, she looks adorable in that romper. Yeah. Like she doesn't look like the model in the magazine either. And she yeah. looks great in it. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. Yeah. You know, and then you've got this expert that's saying, why don't you try a different shoe? Try it with this kind of necklace, yeah. you know? And so then you just, you feel confident in going out into the world. Yeah. I mean, this is all about wardrobe and clothing, and sometimes it feels like a, a frivolous sort of luxurious thing, right? Um, but we know how it, how it sort of seeps and affects yeah. other areas of our lives. So can you tell me a little bit about how maybe it's affected you being able to, you know, feeling more comfortable in your clothes, not having to stress about what to wear? And Absolutely. I mean, like not only not only has it affected me, but it's affected like, like, I mean, this sounds like so like, but it's affected my perception of the world. Like it really has and of other women. Wow. And it's, it's, and I talk about, I talk a lot in my business about, you know, kind of that airplane mask analogy, like as moms, we have to kind of take care of ourselves before we can take care of, of, um, of our families and of other, our businesses and our communities and all these other things. And I've just found like, this has been such it's, it's such a laid out system and it showed me that it's not my excuse for everything. Whatever I'm not doing in my life, it's always like, oh, I'm so busy. I don't have time. Right. But like, this has been a reminder that it doesn't have to take that much time to take care of yourself, myself. Right. And so I've noticed that I'm taking better care of my skin. Like I'm taking, you know, because it doesn't, it doesn't take that much longer to put on eye cream at night or whatever, right. you know, whatever it is. Right. Like I'm doing that. I'm, I'm eating better. Like all of these things that I was just too busy for before, yeah. but it, it showed me and it, and it's like this self like looping prophecy where yeah. like, you know, where I want to take better care of myself. Yeah. And then, and this really goes back to the group. Like you've created such a camaraderie in the group. Like I get so excited for the other women to see what they're wearing and to yeah. see what they come up with and to see what that, that then it really changes because now I have this group of people. I have those roommates back that were like, right. you know, coming out into the living room and saying, Hey, this is what I'm going to wear. And so then that's really changed my perception out in the world. And I hear, and I love, I mean, it's why I'm so attracted to what you're doing is because you have such a bigger message. You have such a bigger message than like, oh, here's some clothes to wear. Like I could probably Google that and find that. Like, yeah, you can go on Pinterest and look for right. it. Right. Here's right. some, here's some clothes to wear. But like you have such a bigger message about, um, about women's, you know, co like confidence and our, and our bodies and, and what we're contributing to the world and, and that, that we can be, I mean, I turn 39 next week, so I'm almost 40. And, you know, that like, that I can be almost 40 and I can wear shorts. And, and then I look at other people, then I'm out in the world and I see someone and I think, wow, good for her. She's mm -hmm. rocking, she's rocking a pair of shorts. She's rocking a short skirt. She's yeah. showing her midriff and she's a curvier girl. Mm -hmm. And like, it's changed that perception. And I just like, I smile, like, I'm like, Lisa would be so proud to see that person. Like yeah. I have this, like, yeah. you know, cause you've really reframed what, like you said, like, I don't think fashion is frivolous anymore mm -hmm. or that it's like an extra thing anymore. You know, you, you really changed that. Yeah. And it's not about spending a ton of money or spending all my time thinking about what I'm wearing. It's not that at all. It's like, it's, it's, it's more internal mm -hmm. that it's really just, it's, it's a way to take care of yourself.